Welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit special. We are playing the first course I ever played, which is Willow Stream Disc Golf in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. And we are doing a polecat only round. That's it, baby. It's not a very hard course, but it is a course that if you're just playing with a polecat, you might have a few issues on some of the longer holes. But I think we'll be okay. I still think we can shoot six or seven under. We're gonna try our best on nine. Uh, maybe we'll get 18 in if we can. I don't know, but it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Fairways are looking beautiful today. All right, let's throw some discs. Hole one, 400 feet, par three. I can't get there. It's uphill. That's like 430 feet with a pull cast. That's not gonna happen. Let's lay up to the right. Give ourselves a nice approach. I'll take that. That's a good first shot. This hole and maybe like one other hole, ah, two other holes, are really the only two I'm worried about on the whole course. I think we can birdie everything else. But I think this hole, because it's just 400 feet uphill, which is ridiculous, and one other hole, I think we're gonna struggle with, but we'll see. All right, not a bad shot at all. A Little bit of a long putt, that's okay. I gotta figure out a better system though than using my hat as a, a mini. Cause I don't, I don't have a mini. I'm gonna have to grab like a wood chip or something. Or a leaf. Maybe a leaf. It's too windy. <laughs> All right, let's put this putt in. Or maybe like 30 feet-ish. Yeah, dead center. Okay, hole two, par three, 299 feet. You basically just gotta go over this hill and the basket is like over there, I guess. I don't know where I'm pointing. That's where it is, okay? <laughs> All right, we're going pull cat. Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed with the pull cat. Oh, that's gonna actually end up pretty good. I'll take that. I think we're short, but I still think that was a pretty good throw. I gotta throw that sucker on just the tiniest little flip up. Cause it's already, I've already beat it in just a little bit. I mean, not much, just a tad. But those pull cats are already pretty neutral, just neutral flyers to kind of understable. So a little hyzer flip, I think goes a long way. <laughs> Edge of circle one. That's a pretty good shot with the pull cat. I'm, I'm fairly surprised by that. Now we just got to put it in another Circle's edge putt. I think we're just inside the circle, but we'll put it in. Hat off, because it's my mini marker for whatever reason. Yeah. One down. Speaking of birdies, one down through two. Hole three, par three, 180 feet. You never guess what I'm gonna throw. It's a bull cat. All right. So basically we just gotta, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys here because this person's walking by anyways. You gotta basically get to the right of this tree right here and then pass it a little bit. You can kind of see the gravel and that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna throw it on just a little bit of hyzer, get it to push. That should be fine. He needs to sit down now. Oh, skimming the chains, baby. Skimming the chains. We're still using the hat as a mini. 
but this is not too bad a putt. There we go. That was not a good putt. Still went in though. Keep the birdie streak alive. All right, so we're gonna grab a mini because I'm tired of using my hat, but we're gonna search for a mini. This park has all sorts of trash in it. So we're gonna search for, oh, look at this. Look at this, we're gonna use this, this butt, this rocket butt. That's gonna be our mini for the day. Perfect, rocket butt mini, love it. All right, so this is one of the ones that I was worried about birdie. Hole four, par three, 312 feet. It plays a little bit further than 312 feet. I don't know why, but for some reason it does. It plays about 340. And I don't, it, it just does. I'm telling you that sign's not right. And so it's kind of hard. It's gonna be kind of hard to get there with a full cat. Like I'm really gonna have to rip it and throw it dead straight through this gap right over here. This tiny little gap to be able to get it to really get there properly. So it's gonna be a tough shot. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, a little long. That was not a good shot, but it'll work for now. All right, so we came up pretty short because that was just a bad throw. So we're gonna mark it with our marker, our rocket marker. See if we can throw this sucker in. Oh, leaked it. Oh well, we'll take that three. Uh, rocket mini. Take that three. Any day. Any day. Like I said, I thought I was gonna struggle on that one with the pull kit anyways. All right, hole five, 230 feet. It's probably one of the more aceable holes on the course. They're all fairly aceable, but this one is just dead ahead. It's right there, so good pull cat hole anyways. Let's see if we can put her in. Oh, I think I threw it too straight. Come back. Ah, actually, that was, it's parked. I mean, it's a polecat. What do you expect? We're gonna put her in lefty because I got the camera in my right hand. Let's see. I'm terrible at throwing lefty, so we're really gonna have to work on this. Hey, there we go, baby. Lefty birdie. <laughs> Anything's possible with the polecat. All right, hole six, par 387 feet. We got a gentleman cutting some grass, so it's gonna be loud for just a second. But the hole is right there. You can see it right next to that tree. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, basically just gonna go right at it. Slight hyzer. See if we can put it in. This is one of the more aceable holes on the course. We're gonna give it a go. Get in. Oh, man. That was pretty close, pretty close. Well, I'd say that was pretty much parked. Ace run and you don't go very far past the basket. Once again, that's the beauty of the pull cat. Beauty of the pull cat. And it's just a good push putter. Like, I don't know why more people don't putt with it. I was saying for a while that I, I used to use it from circle two because it's just so straight. Even if you miss by a little bit, you're not gonna go very far past the basket or you might just hit chain. So more people need to consider it, that's for sure. A rocket's starting to get a little flimsy as you can see, but still working well. Hole seven, par three, 207 feet. Basket is right there. Can't miss it up in this open field. You can either go right of this tree, or you can go to the left of this tree, forehand or backhand, it really doesn't matter. There's enough 
space either way. I'm just gonna go hyzer around the right side of the tree. That's sort of the safe play. So we're gonna throw that. Yep, that's why it's a safe play. <laughs> All right, just a little short putt on this short little basket. Not very tall. So this is another one of the ones I was worried about. Hole eight, par three, 335 feet. Now I can get there, but that is a max distance shot for me with a pole cat because it is a one speed. So yeah, we're gonna have to get on it and, and try and rip it. Heiser flip, throw it out a little bit to the left. Basket is all the way over here and we'll see if we can get it there. Pull cat. <laughs> oh man. Get there. Good shot, good shot. A little short, but good shot. Woo! Just inside the circle, just inside. Let's see if we can put this sucker in. Come on. Don't foil my plans. Come on, Polecat. You can do this. You can do this, Polecat. It's not a long putt. No. 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 Man, that is really upsetting. I should have got that on hole eight. Dang. That would have put me at seven under if I birdied this one. And this one, Pretty easy to birdie. Hole nine, 203 feet, par three. We're gonna go right at it. Once again, it's sort of an ace run hole. So we're just gonna go right at it. And if we miss, then we miss. Oh, and we missed. We missed left. Oh man, a long putt to finish it. So we're getting the side view for this putt with the slow-mo, baby. And right, we gotta use our rocket, our rocket mini here. Doing our good deed picking up trash for the day. Not too far. There we go. Good way to end it. Six down on nine. I will take that any day of the week with any set of bag, or any set of discs, any bag with discs in it. But doing that with the pole cat, pretty happy about that. Hey, little pole cat, to be specific. So now our rocket mini gets disposed of right here in the trash. That's unfortunate. They probably lost that rocket. I'm guessing they didn't actually intentionally leave that on the course. But that being said, if you're on a course, any course, and you see a bunch of trash, pick it up if you got an extra second, if you have a way of bringing it out. Usually I have my bag with me and I, I carry some plastic bags in it, put some trash in there, pack some trash out. Uh, I, I kind of grew up as a Boy Scout, so for me, it definitely is something that's important to me to be able to just kind of pack trash out of courses whenever I see it. I don't do it all the time, but today we had like a dual purpose thing going, using that rocket as a mini, so worked out. Also, six down with the pole cat. That worked out too, here at Willow Stream. I'm really glad I got to come here, play some disc golf. It's been a while. Uh, it's a beautiful park. They got, as you guys can see here, water slides and a pool. A lot of uh, jungle gyms as well as baseball parks and all sorts of other stuff on the other side of the park, including I think some soccer fields as well. So a really good place to come and practice and a really awesome place to come and play with a pole cat, obviously. And I recommend a pole cat for anybody who wants to learn some finesse shots, approach shots, 
and I recommend this to anybody who wants to putt from circle two and have a straight disc. So really, really awesome. But thanks for watching today. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time right here in the outdoors.